So this question provides us with a table here. So technically, at least the information before the question, I'm going to say this is a diagram question because in my mind, I want to identify questions quickly. And I say that any question that provides visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. So this table provides us with a list of different species of trees and then also the growth factor that corresponds to those species. Um, the information here says one method of calculating the approximate age in years. So I'm calculating the age. So calculating the age in years of a tree of a particular species is to multiply the diameter of the tree. So age is equal to diameter, right? And we're multiplying that by a constant called the growth factor. So age is equal to diameter in inches. So age in years is equal to diameter in inches times the growth factor, which is provided in the table above. So question 18 says, if a white birch tree, so I'm going to immediately just go here and box this so my attention is where it needs to be. Each, if a white birch tree and a pin oak tree, so take my attention here, each now have a diameter of one foot. Okay, so I'm going to say WB has D equals one foot. Now, don't forget diameter was in terms of inches, so that's I'm trying to be a little tricky here. So I'm not going to write even one foot. I'm going to say 12 inches just so I don't get confused when it comes to doing the actual math. So the diameter of the white birch is 12 inches, and the question or the table tells me that the GF or the growth factor is equal to 5 for white birch. And then for pin oak, which I'll just say PO, the again, the diameter is 12 inches. And the growth factor for the pin oak is equal to 3. All right, so if a white birch tree and a pin oak tree each now have a diameter of one foot, which of the following will be closest to the difference in inches of their diameters 10 years from now? Okay, so 10 years from now. So let's see, um, how do I want to do that? Well, I don't know how old they are now. Maybe I don't need to know that, but I'm really going to focus on using this this formula. So I'm going to say, well, what is the age of this white birch tree? Now it's going to be the diameter, which is 12 inches, so 12 times 5, which means this oh, this white birch is actually 60 years old. Okay. And how about the pen oak? So again, its age is going to be equal to its diameter, 12, times its growth factor, 3. So its age is 36 years old. All right. So in 10 years, the white birch will be 70, right? So I can say 70 equals, I do not know what the diameter will be because that's what I'm trying to find. So I'll just say D and then times the, um, the growth factor, which is not going to change. So D times five. And in fact, I'll just, instead of calling that D times five, I'll call it five D. So dividing both sides by five, I go to my calculator and I see that 70 divided by 5 is equal to 14. So that means the diameter is going to be equal to 14 inches 10 years from now for the white birch tree. It's going to do the exact same thing for the pin oak. So uh, let's see, in 10 years, it'll be 46 years old. And again, the diameter, I don't know, but the growth factor doesn't change. So 46 equals 3 times D, divide both sides by 3, go back to my calculator, 46 divided by 3 is D equals 15.33 with the bar over it. So then the question wants to know uh, what will be the closest to the difference in inches. Well, the difference, right, between 15.533 and 4 is just to subtract those two things and I'd have 1.33 with the bar over it. So the closest difference there, when I round, right, I'd round down, and that answer would be C, 1.3.